Hey everybody, it's the pedal guy here. How you doing? I love pedals and so do you. In today's video, I'm gonna take you through the brand new firmware that just came out for the Nuex Tape Echo pedal. But before we get to it, if this is your first visit to my channel, take a second, click on that subscribe button down there, give me a thumbs up because each and every one of those helps my channel grow so I can make more content for you. This is a really exciting new firmware update as it has two powerful new features and a bug fix. So without further ado, let's get to it. First up is a bug fix. Uh, Nuex went ahead and fixed the dotted eighth note problem from uh, the tape echo. So now it sounds a lot better. So I'll just play a quick little passage here for you. I'm using the dotted eighth uh, tape head at 120 BPM. Uh, so have a listen for yourself. Let's check out the routing options here. This is a really powerful feature inside of this firmware update that gives you three different routing options that enable you to work with the uh, echo and the reverb in three different ways to give you three completely different tonal textures. So you have your echo into your reverb as mode one, you have your reverb into your echo as mode two, and you have your echo and your reverb in parallel mode where they will be processed independently in the mix. Uh, and they'll all sound completely different from each other. So to do this, you can go to the select knob here and access that particular function, or you can do what I'm gonna do here and use it with the uh, uh, editor here. So I have set the third tape head to over 1500 milliseconds, and I use the uh, tap tempo to get to that. So that'll give me a very long delay, and I've also set the amount of repeats to about three o'clock there, so that we'll hear several repeats of the single note that I'm gonna play so that you can hear the difference. So if you have headphones, make sure you put them on. It's gonna make a difference. Go to that gear icon, and then you have three different routing options here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the pedal on, and I'll play a single note, and I'll switch between the first mode and the second mode so you can hear the difference. So when I switch to the second mode, Listen in the background, you're gonna hear the pa, which is the reverb reflection now being processed through the echo. And we'll give you a completely different sound. So check this out. So hopefully you heard that. That is one of, uh, that's definitely two different sounds you can get from it. And if you get really creative with it, you can come up with some interesting uh, routing options there. So uh, let's go to uh, the parallel mode. So I'll play that single note again, and I'll switch between that and the first mode, because the second mode, you're gonna hear a difference, but it's a little harder to tell the difference. So what I'll do is I'll just go from parallel mode to the first mode to really give you an idea of what independent uh, processing sounds like. So here we go. Well, hopefully that little bit at the end there didn't uh, annoy you to death. But in any case, um, that's, uh, that's how the routing mode works, and I invite you to check it out for yourself. The last thing we're gonna check out in this video is MIDI Clock Sync. 
And believe me, when it comes to the Tape Echo, this is huge. This is something that everybody's been asking for since the Tape Echo came out. And what it enables you to do is it enables you to set up the Tape Echo so it will follow the tempo of your favorite synthesizer, drum machine, sequencer, whatever you're doing, and that sets out MIDI clock, the Tape Echo will follow. It's so easy to set up. You could do it from the select knob here in the upper right corner of the pedal, or you can do it from the editor. Just go to the gear icon. It'll pop up the settings and just simply select your MIDI channel. I'll select one and turn the MIDI clock on. And that is all we need to do. So now what I'm going to do is bring up Reaper. I'll set it to a tempo and show you exactly how that works. So my setup for this demo is really straightforward. I'm just using Reaper and I'm sending MIDI clock data via USB-C to the Tape Echo. Now you can also use uh, the provided MIDI jacks for the Tape Echo as well. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's just simply a matter of preference. So what's going to happen is uh, as I make changes to the tempo in Reaper here, I'll just use the tap tempo. You'll hear the changes in the echo as well. And you'll see that uh, with the tap LED light there as well. Now I also have a click track going from Reaper. So you are going to hear absolutely what's going on here and know that it is changing the tempo. So let's go ahead and start playing and just play a couple of chords and you'll hear for yourself. So just imagine using the Tape Echo with anything that sends MIDI clock out, whether it's a drum machine, synthesizer, sequencer, another pedal, this will sync up like a champ. All right, everybody, that wraps it up for this demo. I hope you found this helpful. If there's any other questions you have, use the comment section below and I'll get back to you when I can. Thanks and have a great one.